In this video, I'll show you how to solve a system of quadratic equations. The question reads, solve for the points of intersection for the following parabolas using either addition subtraction or via the substitution method. The two equations that we are working with are stated below. And just to give you an idea of what we're trying to achieve here, we're trying to achieve this point and this point, the x and y coordinates for both. To do this, you want to analyze your two equations. Which of these two variables, x or y, is the easier of the two to isolate for? Take for example equation one. In equation one, obviously the y is easier to isolate for. I mean, y doesn't have any exponent around it or radical that would make it difficult. That being said, I'm going to isolate for y here and then take that constant of y and place it into equation two. Here's what I mean. Negative four y is equal to 47 minus three x squared Notice I took this 3x squared over to the other side. And next I'll divide each of these terms by negative 4, where I have y is equal to 47 over negative 4. I don't think that can be reduced, plus 3 over 4x squared. Next I'll take this, and as I mentioned earlier, substitute it into there, where I end up with 7x squared plus 6 times this part is equal to 33. This is a complicated equation. There are many terms that we need to deal with. The first thing that I will do before I start to isolate for x squared is I will multiply the six into the binomial to its right. And I'm going to use my calculator for six times 47 over negative four. That gives me negative 70.5 or negative 141 over two, I prefer to use fractions, plus six times three is 18 over four, and that reduces to nine over two. If you can't do it as quick as I can, you can always use your calculator. X squared is equal to 33, and we have a negative here and a plus, so I will use only the negative, no need for that plus. Seven X squared. Next, I need to solve for my X squared here, and to do that, well, these two terms are alike. Seven and nine over two can be combined. Let's use our calculator. Seven plus nine over two, and by all means, you can do this by hand. It just takes a little longer. 23 over two x squared minus 141 over two is equal to 33. We are dealing with a quadratic equation here. And normally what we would do to find our x-intercepts is we would use the quadratic formula. But this quadratic equation does not have an x term. And that makes it a lot easier for us because I can easily isolate from my x by taking this term over, 33 plus 141 over two. I can sum these two terms up and then divide both sides by 23 over two. Let me show you what I mean. 33 plus 141 over two divided by 23 over two. And this gives me x squared is equal to nine. Now I can square root both sides where I end up with x is equal to plus minus three. Just in case you're confused, I square rooted both sides and I ended up with plus minus three. What can I do with these numbers? Well, I can take these numbers now and substitute them into either of these two equations. I'm going to use equation one for no particular reason. I have three x squared minus four y is equal to 47. I'll substitute x is equal to negative three and x is equal to positive three. Three times negative three squared minus four y is equal to 47. This simplifies to 27 minus four y is equal to 47. Bringing this 27 over, this simplifies to 20. Dividing both sides by negative four, we end up with negative five. And the same thing would happen had we applied x is equal to positive three into this equation. And as a testament to that, take a look at our graphical representation. We have two points of intersection, one at negative three and negative five, and one at positive three and negative five. And so there you have it. That is how to solve a system of quadratic equations.